Hi guys, thank you for always watching our tutorial video and big shout out to all my subscribers and for those who are not yet subscribed to our channel please do consider subscribing and please leave a comment down below that you subscribe and I will try my best to reply to you as soon as I can. Thank you and enjoy watching. Good day guys. Welcome back again to Daddy Sam's vlog. Today's tutorial will be the continuation of our helical on internal diameter and since I have this program that we have before so G0, G90, G17, G40, G80 is our cancellation and G21 is for millimeters if you're using millimeter so that is G21 and we have this G91, G30, Z0 is our tall change position and we have this G30, X0, Y0 is our tall change position also on X and Y so your once machinery this one your Z, X and Y are going to its position before doing its tall change and then we have this G94 which is spin per minute and we have M5 which is our spindle stop and the M9 is the coolant up and we have this M01 optional stop so if you have optional stop and this button is on so it will stop once the machine read this M01 and we have this 1901 hollow cylinder blank figure is for our graphics when we do the simulation and this is our N number for the sequence and we have G91, G28, seed 0 so our seed will go on reference point we have our call number size of the paste mill we are going to use and our insert and we have G0, G90, G54, B0 so that our uh, table will go back to the angle you set like B0, B90 or any angle you want and we are going to position from the center of our datum from X0, Y0 and we have G, this G43 is the total compensation plus and we are, go, move, we are going to 100 millimeter above the job and our height and our D and of course our spindle rotation clockwise is uh, 1000 revolution per minute and we have skip and our coolant and this variable number 4 guys is the is equal to 120 divided by 2 that is the diameter of the bore we are going to do 120 and we are going to G1, G90, Z plus 2 feed rate 5000 we are going to use G41 to compensate our tool and we are going to G1, G91, G41 X variable 4 speed rate 750 you can use also guys G90 if you want but the good thing about using G91 if you are if you are going to do lots of holes then G91 is the best thing that's why I give this one to G91 because you are just going to position your um, command to the middle of your board that you are going to do and we have this G90 G03 I minus variable number 4 
and our variable number 1 is equal to 0 variable number 2 is equal to 2 so variable number 2 guys is the depth of each helical movement of our cutter it will move at the same time x y and z and variable number 3 guys is the final depth of the helical bore you are going to do and you have this while while bracket variable number 1 is greater than equal to variable number 3 close bracket do 1 meaning it will do 1 one time and you have this G90 G03 I minus variable number 4 and said variable number 1 so this is the, the command that your tool are going to move at the same time x y and z until it reaches minus 50 and it says variable number 1 equals variable number 1 minus 2 and you have end 1 once the the machine read all of this macro programming by using the um, macro the, the machine is smart enough to use mathematics and it will stop to minus 50 and once the machine reach minus 50 you have this G90 G03 I minus 4 so once the machine reach minus 50 it will rotate one revolution again to make the bottom flat because if you didn't put this one your bottom face will be not flat, are not going to be flat because you are moving on helical so that's why this 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 line is very important and then guys you are going to cancel your G41 and you are going back to the center of your or, or of your bore G1, G91, G40, X minus variable number 4, feed rate 2000. You can also make this one G90 guys if you want. And you can make this one 0 if you want. If you are using G90. But since I use G91 to, so that I can use this uh, program to a lot of bore so I will just position and going to use any sub program if I want to then I don't need to change anything and guys it you are going up G0 G90 said 100 and spindle up and you have also another G40 and you have G80 and M9 and going back home again and on Z and, and, and on X that's, that's the end of your program also guys another tip if you if you want to change your program and I will show you what's the difference between not using this kind of variable so let's say you are going to machine the same diameter 120 millimeter so we are going to delete because you don't want to use any variable if you want to machine same um, 120 diameter so guys this one will become 60 and this one will become minus 60 and this guys will become minus 60 again and this one minus 60 again and this one become minus 60 again so that's how hard to change your program if you are not using the variable number 4 so lots of value need to be changed but since we are using this variable number 4 
So this is the only one we are going to change if we want to change our diameter. So makes our programming easy, makes our life easy. Say you want 100, that's the only one you, you are going to change. And also we are going to delete this one because we don't need it. We don't want the hard way, we want the easy way. Also guys, another tip if you are um, using this kind of programming, let's say your your dip my, instead of minus 50, it will be, it says on your drawing, this one is minus 50.25. Let's say like that, not the whole number. So what we are going to do guys is we make this one minus point our variable number one so that our first rotation will go to minus point twenty five and then if you subtract 50.25 minus 0.25 so you have 50 and then 50 is now divisible by 2 so that's how you change it if your uh, final bit is not, is not a whole number or something that not very common or uncommon we, we can try this one guys later once my my machine is stopped let's see guys if this uh, this one will work it shouldn't end up to minus 50 0.25 so guys so we achieve our final depth so that's how you change your step over so if we put this one to 2 and this one is to 0 we are going to run on simulation so minus 22 42 so guys you need only move to minus 50 and moves up but if we make that one let's say make this one 0 and make this one 2.25 I am very sure it will go to minus 50.25 as you can see so guys it should be always divisible your total depth is always divisible by your variable number 2 if it is not divisible by your variable number 2 you cannot get your final or your ty uh, target final depth so let's say this one guys is minus 9 and let's say this one is 0 this one is 2 so 9 is not divisible by 2 so try again so it ends only to minus 8 but if your step over is 1 mil of course 9 is divisible by 
one and you will you can get um whole number so you get minus nine and if also if you're going to change to three then nine is divisible by three still you can get the step you want because 9 is divisible by so guys that's how you set your step over or your flip of cut relative to your final dip so let's try on um, different view rewind and process So that's how you change your step over and your final dip. One more try. Say you make this one 180. Emulation. So guys, that's how easy to change your diameter and your depth of cut of your each helical movement. And thank you guys for watching this tutorial video. I hope you like it and if you have any questions or any suggestions about the topic of my next tutorial thank you guys for watching this video I hope you enjoy and you like it and if you have any comments or suggestions please leave a comment down below um, and if you think this video is helpful to others please consider to share it with your friends so that they can learn also this kind of uh, programming method on CNC mail 